just a tubular uh, frame with some sort of polyester bodywork wrapped around it. Absolutely brilliant. Lola DFE goes through to Cadney Lola uh, DFE uh, as well. Great era of sports racing, Kevin. Oh, one of my favourite periods, I, th I think, Mark. And actually, just going back to your point about 908, probably an underrated great sports car since be overshadowed by the, the 917 that we saw here last year. But uh, at, at places like the Nürburgring and Targa Florio, um, the works teams ran the 9083 because it was, frankly, a, a better proposition than the, uh, the bigger 5-litre 917. And the 9083 with that uh, flounder bodywork, flounder, as it was called. This looks like a fish, doesn't it? Uh, not much in the way of downforce, not much in the way of rigidity, and uh, just a big engine strapped to your shoulders. It's amazing. Charlie Eastwood um, is uh, going to enjoy this as the, uh, as the weekend goes on. Yes, I think he'll probably enjoy it more after, as he says, once he's got the first run out of the way, I'm sure we'll be very tentative and careful with it, because um, I don't think he's driven anything like this before. Well, he said he hadn't driven a race car without a paddle shift. Well, there we are. <laughs> <laughs> this is, the, uh, this is uh, Leo Voisy, this is uh, Lola DFV, uh, that uh, Rainer Wiesel uh, drove uh, at Le Mans, Jean-Louis Lafosse uh, as well in the Jutin livery. Very successful historic racing with this car with uh, Simon Hadfield, whose um, team has prepared it up near Donington Park. That is a glorious, glorious looking car. Perfect proportions in my book. Evolved from the, uh, the two litre T290 series. the DFB did become a successful sports car engine eventually, didn't it? They yeah. Had some, some with it, the well, it had to be detuned, well. didn't it? Um, didn't make enormous power when they first came into Grand Prix racing those engines in uh, 1967. But uh, they were making good power a few years later. But in a sports car version, they had more success, really, is um, with um, stretch DFLs later on than they 3.3 and 3.9 litre versions of this engine. The car's coming down to uh, for a set up a tree. The Photograph the Matra on looks fantastic, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, 12 cylinder Matra is uh, just amazing. It's uh, Charlie Eastwood coming round in the Porsche 983. But two litre versions of these, three litre versions of these and uh, uh, some slightly different uh, bodywork arrangements, but uh, fantastic to see. As you say, those, uh, I think as Henry was saying, that uh, powder blue and orange golf livery is, um, I'm not allowed to use the word too often, but uh, absolutely iconic. And of course it also ran in Martini livery with the, with, the, with the Martini team, effectively two works teams running at the same time, which didn't amuse John Wire running the golf team. That's right. But, but both, both teams took, took victories and both had fantastic liveries on the cars. <laughs> Sam Hancock leapt out of the uh, Alfa Rushed off the grid to do something, I'm not sure what. There's Alain and Decadne. So, who uh, was the man behind uh, running this car in period for uh, Chris Craft, who had been the European uh, two litre uh, champion? Driving a car owned by Martin Bahrain, who uh, later went on to own Lola. T29, two Lola. That's uh, Martin O'Connell, isn't it? Leaping out of uh, Mark Devis's toy, car developed by Jörg Obermoser in Germany. The car has a uh, successful uh, Le Mans history as well. Now that matter is down on my, certainly on my sheet mark, because it's a 72 car, it's very much in. 74 specification, isn't it, with the high air box and the, the big rear wing on the back. Rob Paul had a lot of success with that. Uh, he and Andy Willis had a lot of success last year at Silverstone, didn't they, with a pair of um, mattress from the uh, Omnium Ventures team. Yes, getting the better of a well-driven Can-Am McLaren around Silverstone was a pretty good effort. Absolutely. He believes if he's in there for 15 minutes, he gets to keep the car. <laughs> Charlie's just ticked the first box. He's got round the lap. He's got the sign of Nuts Corner hopefully on the top. <laughs> yes, hopefully they're feeling a bit more confident now. Little track in Northern Ireland. There's the Tate and Lyle uh, to K 
had a Lola car that competed in several uh, Le Mans 24 hours. Nick Four raced it on one occasion for John Cooper. Okay, Nick Four, who rang me up in the week, which lives about a mile from me in uh, Bournemouth these days. Very skilled uh, artist, and uh, these days has been, for many years, has been uh, trading Porsches in particular. That's the Leo Voyazidos, the Greek, Swiss born Greek. So, which one do you, would you like most to have a go in, Marcus? Oh, that's a very, very <laughs> good point. I've driven one of the Voyazidos, though, the DFEs. Um, well, that was fantastic. Yeah, it was at Donington. I've driven a, uh, driven a 917 Porsche Spider. There's been a golf car uh, cut into a, uh, an Interseri spec car. The toy uh, fascinates me because the toy stuff goes back to um, Joe Marquardt, um, who was a, a good friend, a Swiss designer, who uh, went to Los McLaren, did the Huron, and then his own cars. Uh, first car was the Wilson GT that he designed while he was working in Scotland for the bus company up there. That's being restored by Richard Bishop Miller uh, at the moment. And uh, Joe did, of course, the um, the GRD cars, uh, the uh, Moduses uh, and the Argos. And uh, so that takes us back to the era of Tony Bryce, who would have been Tony Bryce, I mean, who I think would definitely have been F1 world champion uh, in the right car. Um, would have been 65 at the end of this month, which is um, terrifying. And his brother Tim coming back to racing after 43 years. Uh, yeah, he started yeah, Ford, Ford. Ford, Ford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, I was reading this week, speaking to Tim about it last week, only. Um, but uh, no, uh, there's a what well, I think I'd love to have a go in the Matra. Wouldn't everybody? It's got to be high up on the list, uh, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah.